Welcome back to Irish Mike's guys and today we are going to tackle our backsplash, finally. Well, welcome back to Average Mike's and like I said today, we are tackling our backsplash. So, what I have here, I kind of set myself up. We have some tile. I'll quick show you. So, basically we're going to be using uh, these square, I think they're cashmere colored tiles. And then a little accent strip that we're using. Uh, we're going to cut these wall pieces into three to get us a strip here. It's going to lay somewhere around in there. And uh, these tiles on the top and the bottom. So, uh, I prepped myself already here, at least on this part of the counters. I didn't do the other uh, section over on the other side, but <clears throat> basically we took all the outlets off. We uh, washed everything down, made sure everything was nice and flat. There was some uh, caulking still that I had to remove from the old countertop. And uh, yeah, and took a rag and washed it down as best I could. This, this, uh, if you have semi-gloss paint or glossy paint, uh, you, you want to sand this down a little bit. Ours was a, a flat, um, it, was, it was actually pretty flat paint. So uh, we don't really have to do any of that. Um, but I did touch up some stuff, made sure again everything was nice and flat. Uh, and I think we are ready to go. So I put some masking tape down uh, just to protect the counters a little bit. I'll probably have a piece of cardboard going along with me. Uh, I have some bull nose that will go here, and then we'll start with our tile. The wet saws in the back ready to go, and uh, we got one eighth inch spacers here that are meant to leave in between, and the grout goes over top. So, uh, and we are using uh, some Acryl Pro. It's basically a it's adhesive. It's not. Um, a bed or, or set or anything like that so it's not the paper they have paper adhesive i kind of read bad reviews about that if you were looking into basically it's a sticky double-sided sticky paper uh this is a new thing now to hang tiles and i i've heard reviews that it didn't really work so hot so uh, we went ahead with the adhesive and yeah pretty much it so we uh let's get to work all right, so I wanted to mention before you start, you do want to kind of lay out your tile. Now, I know that this countertop is pretty much dead level. So what we're going to do is lay our first tile um, along the bottom. These are all going to be the same length. So we shouldn't have to worry about level uh, at this point. So, uh, but what you do want to do is make sure, and, and we kind of, uh, had a little bit of a dilemma, not a dilemma, but a, a decision to make. Basically, this is 17 and a quarter or 17 and a half inch tall. And if we were to go with a solid tile here, meaning not cut, it puts, and, we, and I can't do it with one hand, but it'll put this above that, which will be right underneath the outlets, which is okay. But when you get to the top, you leave a very thin piece of tile to fill in the top. Now, because they're under the counter, under the cabinets, you won't see it. It's really not that big of a deal. However, um, it also leaves this piece in the center, pretty much in the center, not quite in the center, but pretty much in the center. And I, I think we wanted that a little bit lower. And actually what we did was we said, well, this was the old backsplash, which is about four and three quarters of an inch high. You know what, let's put the Let's cut these tiles, the first tile, to four and three quarters to kind of line up with this line. And then uh, that'll look, make it look like it's the backsplash from the counter. And then um, these tiles can go right underneath. Gives us a little bit more room here. Uh, brings this accent tile a little bit further down and gives us a little bit more of a tile up top. Uh, so I, I think that would look better. Um, we also... Uh, we decided that we wanted a full tile uh, along here. So we'll start off with a bull nose, as you'll see in a minute, and then we'll have a full tile. And then 
I don't really, I didn't even measure. I don't really care what it looks like in the corner back there because it's behind the sink. It's not a big deal. I'd rather have full tile there. So put a full tile, start over there and work that way as well. And we'll end in the corners. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan. And like I said, we'll, we'll get the work. The bull nose, you'll see it has a nice finish. I don't have one here, I'd show you. Uh, it's just a thin strip, nice finish on the end. That way it's not a ugly tile finish. So you wanna make sure you get that. Right, so as you can see, I drew a level line here just to make sure that these tiles line up, right? Here's the bullnose tile I was talking about before. Uh, basically what I wanna do, I have some bottom pieces cut. I cut some of the other tile right here. I cut this one flat to go up against the, that'll be the starting one and we'll just work our way down i don't know what the measurement for the top very top one's going to be so and around this outlet so uh we'll do that as we go It is the next day and I did start over here, but I wanted to kind of go over uh, what you saw yesterday. Uh, as you saw, we completed this whole side. Um, and we started going over here and we started working this out. Now, uh, a couple things that I did uh, want to point out. Uh, you do, I don't know if I said this earlier, but you do want to spread the glue over and then with your uh, trowel here as they call it you want to kind of use the grooves to kind of it, it creates a even 
and I kind of learned this the hard way. Uh, it creates an even uh, when you when you push it down. It's it if if they're not even, then it, the tile won't be even, and uh, you'll kind of get tiles that are indented in a little more. Um, but regardless, we we did a pretty good job. Um, and we're gonna keep continuing going down here. I'm gonna pull this oven out. That way I can get by. And if this is my first time, I I did I have done floor tile before. This is my first time doing um, a backsplash, and uh, you know I I'm learning as I go. So uh, if any professionals out there want to give me any tips or tricks, I don't know when I'd be doing this again. But um, you know I'm always here to always willing to learn. So. Um, so I'm going to end up pulling this out. I did have to disconnect that, uh, switch there because it was, uh, it is too big to go around the hole. I didn't want to make the hole around and that's going to end up sitting f flush on the tile. Uh, this box is a little smaller. See the smart switch has metal all around it. This switch does not. So I should be able to get that through a hole once I'm ready for that tile. Uh, I'm gonna pull this oven out so I can get behind. I'm not going to, I cut about an inch and a half or inch and a quarter off of the bottom tiles to kind of get it lower. Uh, I'm not gonna do that along the um, stove. That way, for whatever reason, we it gives you another inch and a quarter. If we swap out the stove, uh, you know, if it doesn't go right up against it or, or what have you, there's a little bit more, there's no need to cut it. I'm gonna go across. I will have to make uh, a, a draw a line just to make sure that everything stays even uh, across the stove and onto the next section over here. So uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll quick show you the saw I'm using. So here's my cutting setup here. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple. This this thing my dad bought a while ago. Uh, for like he he's claimed it was like 80 bucks, which is probably true. Uh, it has a couple tools uh, Basically, it just sits if you lift this up, there's water in there uh, To keep everything you need to have The saw running through water so it cuts easier and and doesn't uh, overheat or, or actually cuts it smoother that way You know, it doesn't crack or anything like that. So uh, But yeah, this this is the setup. I just been uh, you know freehand in a little bit and It's been working out. So why don't we go ahead back in and we'll we'll continue on with our wall So once you're all done here, you, you do want to make sure that all your clips are pushed in Which we did that yesterday you want to make sure everything is pushed in all the clips all the any glue sticking out you want uh, Make sure that it is all pushed in because once you come around with the grout uh, you'll see that It'll obviously poke through the grout and you know the grouting won't go as smooth as uh, you'd want it to so uh, do make sure I took a little screwdriver and kind of made sure that everything was uh, pushed in and and you know the grout will cover all the cracks uh, to the best of my from what I can see I'm sure once I go grout it I'll find a couple things but the, the most you can the more you can get rid of the better uh, we will we will go back to grouting this once we're done all the walls I still have to like I said do that wall and then the wall back over there by the toaster so
All right, guys. We so we built across. I couldn't draw a line. I, my level's not my level's too big for this area. But what you saw me do was kind of lay the level down. I used a tape measure, made sure that we were straight all the way across, and then I built that bridge to the other side so that way I know that we are good. So now I'll start going up, and then once I'm done going up, I'll continue down. For those of you see me checking the back, I'm just making sure that there's a indent says USA with a letter. The letter is always different, but I want to make sure that USA is always facing the right direction, which is, you know, facing up. So that way if there is a difference in the pattern. It kind of, it's just kind of best practice to do that. Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Uh, I would have liked to have finished the grout on the uh, backsplash, but this video is getting a little long and I, the, actually putting the backsplash up took a lot of time. So uh, we're going to have to catch that in the next video. Uh, I do want to get to some serious business here and that is our 500 subscriber giveaway. I want to thank you so much again for all the support uh, and I am happy to give the winner of this uh that cool door trim removal tool it's going to ship right from amazon to your house right here i have a list of all the names it's not as many as i would have thought but that's fine list of all the names here as you can see my chicken scratch uh, i'm going to cut these up and put them in a hat All right, guys, all the names are in my hat here. I'm gonna make sure they get mixed up. Anybody thinking I'm cheating here? All 
Okay. So again, I want to thank everybody for all the support. And behind me here, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, this is my Sonoma S10 V8 swap. Uh, I'll post the link right here. But uh, anyway, let's get to the winner. So the winner of the door trim removal kit is Dosh Autos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Dosh's Auto, Docs Autos. No. So Docs Autos, please shoot me your mail mailing address. I get that uh, that toolkit out to you, and you just give it to me on Instagram. DM me on Instagram at average underscore Mike underscore channel, or you can email me at average Mike dot channel at gmail.com. All right, guys. Thanks again. And, you know, once again, 600 subscribers, which we're already over, uh, we're almost at 530. So at 600 subscribers, uh, we will be doing another giveaway. I'm not sure what that will be yet, but as we get closer, I will announce that. And uh, so make sure you're subscribed. You turn on your post notifications for all the videos that I post out. And I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.